Hey, baby. Hey everyone, recently I did a video on Stofans and told you that they're pretty much pointless shooting outdoors. Today I wanna to show you how they are really useful when you're shooting indoors. Okay, now this Asian stereotype in the background is really just a prop to show you how you can use a Stofan to light a whole room. Um, when you're shooting in any kind of indoor situations, they can be really, really useful Basically, this little plastic dome, it sends light in every direction. So if you're using a flash that has a zoomable head, you can adjust the angle of the beam coming out and therefore the size of the square of light that you're gonna be throwing onto whatever surface to reflect off and bounce light back on your subject. The point of this guy is though, the majority of the light still goes up, but at a really wide angle, but it also comes out each of the sides. So light hits every wall pretty much, and then you have reflected light coming from every direction, which is one, great to fill up a room with light, and two, means that you eliminate a lot of shadows because you've pretty much got light coming from the contrary angle to fill it in to some degree. So I'm actually gonna take some shots of this cheapy, it was like $30 Yongnuo flash, and show you what it can do. All right, to get this going to start off, I've got the Yongnuo set up on remote trigger. I'm just gonna fire it bare and show you how much of the ceiling and walls it captures. Then we'll put the, the, the diffuser card down and show what a difference that does. Then the Stofan. So, going down. Okay. I think that demonstrates it fairly well. You can see it's put a nice size square on the ceiling of the room, which would obviously soften the light considerably from the little matchbook size head of the flash itself. Now let's pop the little diffuser card down and you'll notice that that sends light in a much broader direction than it was before. You still interested, Coco? Okay, so there it's much softer. As the spread gets bigger, then the softer it gets as well. Okay, we'll pop the diffuser on now and you'll see that will radically change the amount of fill light or the spread of the light that we're getting. Okay, the main thing you can see is it's getting a lot more fill around the edges of the room, which is, it is reflecting some light back in. So I'll do just do a couple of shots here of Miss Tina on a wide angle lens, which is completely unflattering to show how soft a light source we can create in this small room. Okay, they say don't work with children and animals and here I am with both. Before you argue, count the toys on the bed. Puppy. Hey. Hello. Hello, yeah, lick my hand. I don't wash that one. <laughs> Hello. Your head's bigger than Mumby's. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's a cute one. Hello. Puppy dog. What's going on? Woof. Hello. Oh. All right. So, Stofan, indoors. Use it, love it. Still directional. You still get a majority of the light in the center of the shot, but you're going to get a lot of, you know, spill going out onto all different surfaces that will help you light your subject in a really soft and flattering way. You can essentially turn all the walls into one big soft box from all different directions coming down on your model. Sorry, on your models. Thank you very much, Puppy. I don't need to wash that finger today anymore. So sweet. Thanks for watching, guys. Any questions or comments, or if um, you wanna come and play with Coco sometime, let me know below. Click the like, subscribe, share, all of that sort of thing. Say bye, Tina. Say bye, Coco. Was that interesting? Do you like your Uncle Murder? Yeah. <laughs>